Hi, Dr. Balanoff, and I'm so happy that you're watching this video. If you like the end of this video and you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit like and subscribe because the information I want to share with you is all the things that I've learned over 36 years of being in dentist and being in dentistry. So this is exciting stuff. The thing I want to talk about today, and I've done this a long time, which is to talk about what's printed. Now, I know that's kind of passe because everybody's getting their information online, but these journals, journals like Compendium right here, are either going to send it to you electronically or they're going to send it to you snail mail. And that's okay. There is a article here, which is how to introduce implants to your patients, and Howard uh, Roger Levine is the one who's um, authoring this particular article. The nice thing about him as an educator and as a dentist is he gets it, and he's gotten it for a long, long time, and I've listened to him speak at different dental meetings over the decades that I've been in dentistry. So what is it really coming down to? What it comes down to is patients want options about their treatment. So let's talk about dental implants. A patient has a missing tooth, and if you wanna look at some of the statistics, the number of missing teeth in the United States is in the tens of millions. So there's an amazing business clinical opportunity for you as dentist. The problem is, is that when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. So if all you were taught to do is to make a fixed partial denture, commonly known as a bridge, that's what you're telling your patients. But what patients want is they want to buy from you, they just don't know what you're selling. So really the three options, or four options for patients kind of going forward is, one, to do nothing. And for as unpalatable as that sounds to you and I as dentists, there's a lot of patients who opt to do nothing. You have an obligation, both ethically and legally, to explain what it means to do nothing, which is posterior bite collapse, superruption of the opposing tooth. So you gotta explain all that stuff and document it all in the chart. Option number two is something removable. Now in a lot of states you need to have a, you know, a, a partial denture which goes to the opposite side. You can't have a little small partial denture called a Nisbet or a, something along those lines because you have to worry about patient aspiration of those. So that's option number two, which is something removable. Option number three is something fixed. But in order to do something fixed, you have to prep the teeth on either side and make a bridge that is retained um, in design and cement. And of course, option number four is implants. And that's how simple it is. So in 1986, I started my implant dental practice, and you can imagine in 1986, when probably a lot of you are watching this video weren't even born yet, um, it was strange that a dentist would talk about dental implants. Well, it turns out that I started doing an enormous amount of dental implants, so much so that Nobel BioCare, the leading implant company at the time, hired me to travel around the United States and Sweden and Europe to talk about what do I do to get new patients? And that's like an exciting place to be. So what does that really mean? Patients don't know about dental implants, so they don't know understand the expense or the time, and they're worried about pain and all that other kind of stuff. So sit down and have a conversation with your patients because in order to make them really just love your practice, you they have to be able to understand that you care about them. So show them how you care by talking to them and then listening to them and understanding their objections, whether it's money or dental fear or whatever the case is. And what you're gonna find out is by offering dental implants to your patients, you're gonna start doing a lot more of them. So in the beginning, my goal in 1986 was to do one implant patient per month, 12 per year, certainly modest. Um, by the time I retired, I was doing three all-on-four procedures per day. So that's how it changes because then you get kind of known as the dental implant guy in your area because you're doing so much of it. So I'd love to be able to talk to you about all of this one-on-one -on -one because I can explain to you a lot of different ideas that need to be done um, to try and implement dental implants into your practice more than a video like this can kind of talk about. So do me a favor. If you're really interested and you really want to kind of drill down on this, no pun intended, it's a bad dental joke, 954-683-2693. That's my personal cell number. It is this phone's cell number. And I want to talk to you about this because I love talking about teeth. So if you like this kind of video, if you want to hear more, you have any suggestions or ideas or anything like that, hit the like button because we love that kind of stuff. Get back to me with different ideas and suggestions. So just hit the comment section. And uh, make sure you subscribe because we want to do more of this stuff.